Hello, Rough Rider Nation, and welcome to this edition of the Rider Report, the ins and outs of Yavapai College Athletics. I'm Brad Clifford, the athletic director here at YC, and I'm joined today by Doug Eastman, our head softball coach. Doug, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me, Brad. Good to be here. We're halfway through the season. Uh, regular season, the ladies have an overall record of 29-4 and four right now, conference market 25-3. and three. Uh, We're in first place in the conference. We're ranked number 10 in the latest NJCA D1 poll. you got to be pleased with the team and where we're at right now. Well, I think we're in a perfect position. There's a lot of work to be done. We, we realize that. But being at the top, these girls have been working really hard. It's, it's, uh, it's not surprising to me because of who they are and, and what they're trying to achieve. But, yeah, we're in a great spot. Being ranked 10 in the nation is, is, a, is a very nice honor. You know, I'm not quite sure how they work all that kind of stuff. You know, we, we were ranked, uh, you know, five early on in the season. We, we went on a 17-game winning streak, and, and now we're ranked a little bit lower. But uh, I think it's kind of like bingo. You know, you put the little balls in there and you pull <laughs> one out one at a time. And, but, it, you know, the bottom line is is you got to win games and, and – uh, and get better and, and prepare for postseason. So it, it's all good. We're excited. We're doing that right now. Yeah, I, I I thought the same thing. I thought we were we were ranked a little bit uh, low, but uh, nonetheless we're in the top ten and yes. and uh, certainly going to stay there. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about your hitting. hitting mm -hmm. I think hitting's a strength for us right now. And and just let me read some numbers here. YC leads the league in batting average at 409. First in home runs with 53, second in RBIs with 261. You got Sotelo that leads the league in batting average at 563. Borsaw leads the league in home runs with 15. Rios is right behind her with 13. You're getting timely hitting from others in the lineup. I mean, hitting's a strength for you right now. Well, I mean, it sure makes it easier on the coaching staff. It makes it easier on the pitching staff. And, uh, yeah, we have a lot of weapons. You know, we had a, a doubleheader the other day that was pretty exciting. We had seven home runs by seven different athletes. Right. And, and I don't know if I've ever experienced that in my coaching career. And then you have somebody like Andrea Sotelo, which is a fantastic hitter for average, uh, a young lady that hit 21 home runs last year started out a little slow, but uh, man, I think she's got six home runs in her last nine at bats. Right, so right. Uh, crazy stuff. We have power up and down the lineup, uh, and that makes your your team a little scary. I mean, you've got eight, you got seven, eight, and nine that are hitting home runs as well, and hitting for average and getting timely hits. I mean, you're getting you are getting it from one to nine uh, throughout the lineup. Well, it's not by accident. We work on it very hard. You know, it's uh, hitting for power is a very mechanical thing, and uh, you have to use your legs. You have to use the ground up. You, you can't use your upper body, and especially in a female athlete, it's very important to, to keep your weight back and use your leg strength and your hip strength and have a flat plane when you make contact with the ball so you can get the proper backspin. So we work on it. We have ladies that can actually go out and do it, which right. is very helpful. And uh, it's it's probably one of our strengths, absolutely, Brad. Indeed, pitching's been very good for you. We've got uh, Amy's got she's uh, what eleven and three, I think, right now. Uh, Kiana Spencer is is second in the league in ERA. Uh, you got Santana Parr that's giving you good innings, um, provides a different look to the batter. So our, our pitching's been very solid. Well, Amy's getting better all the time, which I I thought she would. Mm -hmm. um, you know, still one of the things I really want to. Uh, you know, push Amy is to continue with her strength. Um, we're going to need a little more strength out of her as the season goes on. I'm going to demand more out of Amy Robinson as the season goes on. So um, she understands what she's up against. She's going to have to pl uh, pitch multiple games when we get into postseason. So that's what we're kind of leaning on with her. But her spin's better. Her location's better. Her confidence is better. Mm -hmm. um, and then you go with, with Kiana. Uh, she's undefeated. I mean, how do you do better than that? Right. Um, you know, we had a tough break the uh, you know the other day where she was knocked out in the first inning with a line drive, and but but she's one. When you look at her numbers, you know it, it would be easy to say that we have two number ones. Right. And uh, with her ERA and, and the amount of hits that she gives up per inning and what she does out there is pretty spectacular. We're pretty blessed. Uh, with Santana Parra, she's more of an off-speed mm -hmm. uh, spinner. Uh, it's very important that, that she gets her pitches where she wants them. Once right. in a while, she'll, she'll get them up in the zone a little bit and, and, and get touched a little bit. But, but she's one that's going to help us as the season goes on and, and just has to learn a little bit more about confidence and going out there and, and knowing that she can get the job done. Um, but I think we're in pretty good shape with the pitching staff, yeah. Yeah, she gives Santana gives us a, a whole different look compared to Amy and, and Kiana. Absolutely. Speaking of Kiana, she, did, she took one off the – the shin the other day, and, and uh, bless her heart, she, she walked it off and wanted to continue, but that thing had ballooned up by the time uh, Tara got out there to see her. Well, it sure did, and it was very painful, and, and, and I was 
hoping that she could put some weight on it, and, and she just couldn't do yeah. it. And, uh, you know, sometimes in a long season, those kind of things are going to happen. And, and, you know, we were playing a very, very talented team in Phoenix College, yeah. and, um, you know, we're no excuse ball club. The next next young lady had to come up and, and give it her best shot. She couldn't get it done for that day. Yeah. Um, but uh, it is what it is. Those things are going to happen, and, and we'll regroup, and we'll get right back on track. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Now, I think another aspect of the success for the team right now is your fielding. I mean, we're leading the league in fielding percentage at 977. Uh, we only have 18 errors in 33 games. I, I think that's a lost lost art. I mean, our infield is solid from, from first base to third base. Uh, our outfield is solid. You've got to be pleased with your defense. And, and of course, that makes pitching uh, a lot easier as well. Well, you know, you said it, Brad, and, and it, when you say it's it's overlooked, um, it's really funny because you go to the conference meetings at the end of the year, and and everybody's you know everybody's goo goo and gaga on about the hitting and and the averages and the home runs and and I sit in my chair thinking, you know, you got somebody like Carissa Pena and you got somebody like Shaney Ige mm -hmm. and uh, on the left side of our infield that just that makes plays after play after play. And, and defense does get overlooked. Right. Um, it doesn't with the coaching staff. Right. It doesn't with the fans. Right. Um, but when you talk about accolades, uh, it does get overlooked. But uh, we're fantastic defensively. I, I couldn't be more happy there. Uh, you know, behind the plates, fantastic. Our outfield, speedy, mm -hmm. um, very athletic. And uh, you, you said it. That's another one of our strengths. It really is. And you, mm -hmm. you look at some of those, uh, you know, like Mercedes there at second base does a solid job there at second. Andre does a, on, uh, does a great job at first base. And, and you're back, you're, you're, your catchers are doing fantastic. Savannah does a great job. JD does a great job. I mean, we are pretty solid defensively up and down the, up and down the lineup. Yeah, Mercedes, she understands second base very well you know you don't always have to field it clean sometimes you got to get in front of it and knock it down, knock it down. And, and make a play and and she's tough that way and, and Andrea Sotelo we talk about her hitting so much but boy she is she is really a craftsman over there at first base she can really get the job done you yeah, bet she yeah. really does yeah well all right so we, we're we're going into the last half of the season here we, yeah. we've got uh uh, we, we finished the first half, and we finished. We're getting one game into the second half with Phoenix College. Now we've got the rest of the, the conference to go. We've got home games coming up with Central. We've got home games coming up with Eastern, uh, with Pima. Uh, so we've got some pretty tough teams coming up home. Uh, fortunately, we have them home. Uh, what are we going to expect here the last half of the season? Well, the second half of the season is a lot of it's it's a mental part of the mm -hmm. season, and you know your your body is a little fatigued. Um, it's time where you got to try to slow down the game. Um, you know, I thought against Phoenix a little bit, our, our batters got a little mentally weak. We started swinging at pitches out of the zone. But again, you know, with fatigue and with all the games that you play and with, with the academic stresses that you have, it's very important to slow down the game and, and, and rethink it through and be patient and all those kind of things. So um, very tough teams coming down the stretch. We're going to take one at a time. Um, but again, we have the tools to get it done. Um, you know, it's the coaching staff's job to keep the team at an even temperament so they can go out there and get the job done. And I think we, we got to realize also, uh, going towards the end of the season here, these kids are academically focused as well. We've got finals coming up. We've got papers due. Uh, it, it's a tough season uh, for baseball and softball. Uh, going into the the last half of the uh, of the school year, well, student athletes definitely have a tough grind when it comes to all the things that they have to do in an academic year. And and you know, I'm really impressed how they're handling things. You know, yesterday was a day that we just took a day off, and and quite frankly, had a study hall. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's catch up on our academics. You know, we did get a little workout in in the gym as far as medicine balls and some things to keep our strength, but. Uh, you know, you got to stay on the academic part, and, and we take academics very seriously at, here at Yavapai College. So, we, Indeed we do. Well, let's talk about, we uh, kind of finish up here talking about some of the players. All, all our sophomores are signed to go on somewhere else. And, Everyone, yes. And, and I think that's impressive, getting those kids to sign up, signed to go some, to play somewhere else. Uh, we've got Amy Robinson that's going to South Carolina Upstate. We've got uh, Andrea Sotelo that's going out to San Marcos in California. Savannah Ramirez is going to play at Animal Valley out in California. Carissa Pena going to Cameron in Oklahoma. Michaela Newham going to going to New York to Mercy College. Shana Ige going to play to, at Lion College in Arkansas. Mahina Chong, Corbin University in Oregon. So we're, we're across the globe as far as the, 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 the schools go, but it's impressive getting all these kids on to play at the next level. Well, I 
I mean, I think it's fantastic, and, and we always say that, you know, academics first. Right. And uh, winning games is a wonderful thing, and, and having an opportunity to win a national championship for your institution is a, is a wonderful thing to do. But we're here for the sole reason of, of getting our education and, and moving on and getting a degree and doing something exciting in, in the world. So that's what we're all about. I'm very proud of these young ladies that we have 100% that are going on and, and doing their education and understanding why they're here. And uh, so good thing for them. Um, you know, we, we kind of tell them it's a neat thing to go all over the country. Right. You know, go see some country. This right. is an opportunity to... You're young. To, you're Don't young. Do it. <laughs> yeah, see some different, you know, some, some different people and cultures and different things like that. So um, we really push that. They get a little nervous at first, thinking that man, that's so far away. And and uh, but uh, you know, I, I get a kick out of our our uh, you know a couple of young ladies from Hawaii. They they think it's boy, that's pretty far. And I said, well, everything's far from Hawaii. Right, right. You know, you can't just <laughs> swim to where you're going. So it's all a plane uh, ride. So uh, very excited, Brad. And um, you know, our educators here do a great job, and our student athletes are are getting it done in the classroom and and. That's frankly all. We, that's we've always said, I've always said that Yavapai College is a great stepping stone. We're a stepping stone to, to greater things for these kids. And, and obviously, they're going to go on and do greater things. All right. So we've got a four-game homestand coming up beginning March 28th. We've got uh, we got uh, old fellow D1 nemesis Pima Community College coming up next Tuesday. Then we have a rare uh, Friday doubleheader with Glendale Community mm -hmm. College. Then we've got a couple of makeup dates with Mesa on the 4th of April in Central Arizona, which is going to be a big one on the 8th of April. So we, we, we do have a good homestand coming up, which thankfully we do, uh, but there are going to be some tough ball games as well. Well, we definitely have to play well. I mean, Pima's playing fantastic mm -hmm. right now. They have some young ladies that, that are putting up similar numbers than, than what we have on the offensive side. And, and Central, they're not going anywhere. They're a scrappy team. Um, they just come at you hard, and, and, and again, you know, we have about a game and a half lead on them right now. Um, but it's going to come down to the very end and, and who can get it done and who can stay calm and, and, and do their thing. So it should be a lot of fun, Brad. should be a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, come on out to the ballpark, have a dog, watch, a, watch some fun and fast uh, softball. It's really a blast to watch this team. Uh, we want to thank Doug for coming uh, and joining us today. We uh, Make sure to follow us at www.goroughriders.com. Follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Uh, keep up with Rough Riders. And as always, go Rough Riders. Come out and see us. <laughs>